Well, hello again, it's Trudy here from Hot Patterns, coming to you with another little chantel. This is for one of our newest patterns, the rather gorgeous Metropolitan Urban Gypsy Blouses. Um, now, you can see from the get-go, this is not our usual kind of style. We don't normally do things that are strapless or off the shoulder, but this is such a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's kind of worth going outside your comfort zones for it. So, I'm going to give you the backstory to it, and then I'm going to show you the kind of uh, the technical details and why they work, even if you don't like wearing a strapless bra. So, I really wanted to quickly go through with you the kind of whys and wherefores of this blouse, how we came to do this blouse. Um, we often do uh, pieces based on runway styles. We do that quite a lot. And uh, I saw this one, I'm going to say, almost a year ago. Um, and it was going down the spring-summer 2015 runways. And it was by a company called Tibby. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled T-I-B-I. Um, anyway, they do some really, really cool stuff. Very casual, but very kind of chic looking. And they had this gorgeous off-the-shoulder top done in like a chambray kind of shirting. And I looked at it and thought, that's the one for me. I have to do that. And in fact, I ran off and kind of roughed out a version for myself straight away. That's how nice it was. And even though it's completely off the shoulder, I promise you, it's the most comfortable thing to wear. And that's because we've done stuff to it. We've done stuff to it because we want to make it, you know, really comfy for you to wear, really easy for you to wear. But I'll go through that with you in a moment. But the whole point of the Tibby one is, it goes really, really well in a very kind of casual, dressy way. Obviously over pants. But on the runway, they showed it with a matching a-line skirt. It was gorgeous. Worked really well. Of course, the other thing you can do with this is you can belt it because it's quite flowy. You can belt it with a very skinny belt or a very thick kind of obi belt. You know, if you've got like an hourglass physique, that will work really, really well for you. So yeah, it's based very closely on a designer piece. I have to tell you that although that was in uh, on the runways for this spring summer, and it's been all over Pinterest and all over Instagram. You have, you're going to see so many of these next year because the Spring Summer Collections 2016 off the shoulder tops are everywhere, they're everywhere. Tops and dresses, in some cases even jackets. So this is a look that's really worth you kind of getting your head around because it's going to look really gorgeous on you. Um, very kind of low key sexy, which is, you know, a nice thing. So yeah, now um, I've given you a brief, very brief kind of background to it. I am going to show you the inner workings, but before we do, let us talk about strapless bras. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you why I do not like strapless bras. Why I do not think, or in fact I can prove that they do not work in the way they're supposed to work. And why we thought it was a good idea to put a shelf bra inside this instead of you having to wear a horribly uncomfortable and ultimately pointless strapless bra. Okay, so here is a basic bra. Doesn't fit this stand particularly well. That doesn't really matter for our purposes. It demonstrates it perfectly. You can see that a normal bra will have two sets of straps. It has the shoulder straps and it has the circumference strap or the band, whatever you want to call it. Now, the circumference strap or the band actually anchors the bra. It keeps it close to the body and it holds it there. Okay, so it's an essential. It's an essential part of the bra. The shoulder straps, yes, they keep it where it needs to be, but they also give a little bit of lift to here. And they keep the cups, the top edge of the cups, towards the body. This is a good thing, of course it is. So, let's see what happens, I'm going to have to zoom in for this one. Let's see what happens when we drop a strap down. I'm going to turn my stand to the side, and I'm now going to cut and zoom right in tight so you can see what I mean. Because when, uh, when you take the shoulder strap down, the cups kind of flop, they don't look very nice, so let's have a look. Okay, check this out. Here's our strap on the shoulder, here's our cup against the body. See what happens, watch. Ew. Uh, we get the cup kind of flopping down like this, so it's either going to flop forward or it's going to tip forward like that, the whole thing. Either way, you're going to have a gap, which means you're not being supported, you're not being, you know, held the way you should be. So you can see when you put your strap back on, these problems kind of go away. The cup goes right back against the body, it's where it should be. So our shelf bra kind of mimics that uh, principle of keeping the bra cup against the body. That's what you want to achieve. 
Now, the last thing to tell you about strapless bras is this. They are super uncomfortable. And they are uncomfortable because they have to grip you really hard. They've lost the tension of these straps, so this strap has to do all the work. So it's got to really grip against the body, and it often digs in. Oh, and just to add insult to injury, it often rides down here as well. You've been to weddings and evening things where people are there in strapless uh, dresses, and they're constantly doing this, up oh, comes the strapless bra. Really, really uncomfortable to wear. The only strapless bra that realistically will give you a good result for any length of time is if you have a long line kind of bustier, uh, something that ends out at the waist or at the, at the hip and it goes all the way up here and it has cups in it so that you can you know, be all sort of held and supported properly. Even then, they don't do a perfect job. They do an okay job. Um, you find that your back has to be quite high in order to get that kind of tension around here and kind of hold everything up. And of course, for evening gowns, wedding gowns, people want to have a low back, so it doesn't really work too well. So that is why I do not like strapless bras. They are uncomfortable, they are inefficient, and we can get a better result with our shelf bra. Let's be honest, we really can. Okay, so now I've told you about my um, antipathy towards uh, strapless bras. I'm going to show you the shelf bra and why it works. Now, I've explained to you why I do not like strapless bras. And uh, I should explain to you, when I made my very first version of this, I tried it with a strapless bra, kind of uncomfortable. And so this is why I came up with the idea of putting a shelf bra inside it. And so we have a shelf bra inside of both of these. Um, it is optional, but honestly, I'd do it. And I'll tell you why. Um, a shelf bra isn't really designed to behave like a bra. A bra supports you and kind of stabilizes you and gives you a bit of uplift. Shelf bra doesn't do that. Shelf bra just stabilizes, it just keeps your bust where you put it, <laughs> for want of a better expression. So, um, yeah, so this does the same thing. Our shelf bra, or really, let's call it, um, let's call it a crop camisole, because that's what it is. Let me show you it. Um, it's sealed in through the seams here. Let me show you what I'm here. Okay, so this one is somewhat um, bigger than the stands, it's made to fit me, but it sits, you can see, under the bust. And yes, we have darts, and there's a reason. If you are blessed with bigger boobs, you need those darts to get shaping, even with stretchy, stretchy fabric. So you've got your little shelf bra underneath, and it just, it doesn't uplift you, but it anchors the whole thing. It keeps the blouse where it should be. This is a good thing, of course. So, if you are at all cautious about wearing off the shoulder, make the shelf bra with it, and then you can do what I do, which is this. I wear my normal bra, tuck the straps down, just drop them down, they're here, they're just here. And that kind of keeps everything there. Now, I'm a 44D, not too big, not too small, kind of boring average, I'm afraid, but keeps everything where it should be. So if you are up to that size, it will definitely work for you. Um, it might actually work for you if you're a little bit bigger as well, but what if you're not so happy and kind of confident about just like, dropping your bra straps down? I will show you option number two. So, I've shown you why I don't like a strapless bra, and I've shown you why I think a shelf bra will work really well for this. But what do you do if you're still kind of going, oh, I'm not so comfortable with that, really want to have a bra strap? Okay, we've got you covered for that as well. Um, what you're going to do is get yourself a convertible bra. And a convertible bra is basically a strapless bra that has uh, adjustable straps. You can have them as a halter neck, a crisscross back, a racer back, one shoulder, all that stuff. And you're going to convert it into a halter neck bra. And then you're going to make yourself some straps. The pattern piece for these straps is in the pattern. You don't have to kind of think about this at all. So you're going to give yourself a halter strap. There it is. You're going to force it oh, usually over my lovely little fluffy flowers. And I can't get rid of the base yet. Yeah, so there are the halter straps. Not the most attractive of things, let's be honest. However, we're going to put our proper straps on. Now, the halter neck straps go on the bra, and your straps go on the blouse. So when you're making this, you really need to try on your, your top with the bra you plan to wear and see where the straps are set, because they're set you know, at different angles, and so you set them where they need to be. Now, I haven't sewn these on because I don't plan on using them, but I may actually do them kind of button on, button off, so they're detachable, who knows. So, 
Get yourself some straps. Put them on. And again, there are instructions for this in the pattern. You don't have to do any tricky kind of thought processes or fiddling with this one. Okay, once you've got your straps, you will tie them into a nice tie or a bow, whatever you want to do. Now, lovely. Okay, what do you do if you're a little concerned about your bra strap moving and showing? Um, my handy hint for you is this, and this is something that works really, really well. You get a small safety pin, you put the safety pin on the back here, and then you thread your bra strap through the safety pin. You can use two or three if you want to, to really anchor it. But yeah, you now get a really beautiful halter neck version, which is just as lovely as the off-the-shoulder version. It's really gorgeous. And if you are at all cautious about going strapless or the shelf bra, or you just don't feel right about having a bra strap, this is the way to go for you. Easiest thing in the world. So I really hope I've convinced you to give this one a try. It's really gorgeous. And it has to be said, it makes a really fantastic kind of low-key party outfit. You know, um, obviously it's a good summer piece, it's a good vacation piece, but for the cool weather, definitely for when you're going out, you're going out for drinks, you're going to a holiday party or something, this kind of thing is fantastic because it shows enough skin to be interesting, but that's all it shows. Oh, and the other thing I should remind you of is this. Shoulders, they are the last part of the body to visually age. So even if you are uh, blessed with years, shall we say, your shoulders are pretty much still going to look gorgeous. So you can go for an off-the-shoulder top and it's still going to look great. Um, I would really recommend you think about doing this in um, shirty type fabrics, maybe flowy fabrics. In fact, when we launched this pattern, um, we launched it along with uh, our Steam Bootcut G, and one of our Facebook sewing group friends had a great idea. She said she was going to make uh, the jean in a stretch black and gold brocade, fabulous, and she was going to make the blouse in a black rail and velvet. Good grief, how perfect is that? It's the best holiday outfit you can think of. Really simple, really glamorous kind of not trying too hard, just, you know, yeah, I'm fabulous, that's just the way it is. So yeah, I really, really recommend this. It's a really comfy blouse, looks great, feels really nice, uh, very, very glamorous but understated. So yes, now you should go and make some.